Can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? All right. <laughs> now he will get on the horse with you. And we are going to try and find a road that leads over here. Now, you can't fast travel. You have to take the horse or run. Which, whichever. Because he will talk to you, like, the entire time. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, on the plus side, you get to go nonsense. fast. I went he's to on his back. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercy and soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Hunwald. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my... Here's Lincoln. Okay. The city of my birth. The cauldron of my present sorrows. Are they gonna continue on or can I continue with my stuff? Okay. We'll just ignore them. I hope they just go away. So I got stuff to do. Alright, now, using the bird. Survey the area soon. We're good. Okay. I'm gonna put a cut here while I get rid of these two. Okay. So alien to me now. So harsh and unwanting. Fear not, Lincoln. I shall make you mine again. Okay, we're gonna head down. Lucy and guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. <gasps> Ignore these guys and go this enough way. silver to buy peat from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. 
And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Who took him away, and did he go willingly? Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers, or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Okay, this is the side door. We came in that door. Who was that fellow? Up and out. Now, they are back over there. And the way to get through there is we're here. We're going to come up the steps up into the market and then go left into here. I shall return to my speech. Who was that fellow? Reagan had? He's an old fixture of my then family's house. Ignore those guys Loyal and try to go around them. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. And this is the market area. Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything <clears> in my father's <throat> home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house, Humboldt? Oh, from time to time. Yes. Okay, we are headed in there, but I'm going to put a cut here because the um, fast travel spot's right there and I want to get it while I'm here. So I will be right back. Okay, there are a couple of ways to get in here. You can climb the walls, but you can also blend in. And if you need the, this is not the Norse you were looking for trophy, this will get it for you as well. Because you have to blend in with some monks Yay, and go boy. right past the uh, uh, restricted guards. Okay, and then we're going in here. Archer, Herebrith, tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwar. You should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. <clears throat> I'm not the Dane he's in love with. I'm only doing this boy a favor. Don't hide your elderman behind insults. I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. 
In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwal. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. He asked me to protect him, not kill for him. If I meant you harm, you'd be dead already. And this is between the boy and his father. Our coming here has nothing to do with you. This is a matter between the boy and his father. I disagree. Everything this boy does concerns us. He's the son of our elderman. I all but raised you, lad. Bounced you on my knee and taught you scripture. So when I tell you we don't know where your father is, nor why he left our hospice in his ailing state, it's because we don't know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know.